Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In this video, we will see how we can extend the limits of the Gantt Chart Maker Excel template. This template allows us to create Gantt charts like this with a lot of features and options, and it's very, very easy to customize it. However, when we create such templates, we also try to make sure that it's fast and light and so we put some limits or restrictions on the scope of the template. For example, there are, it is set up to handle 100 total tasks at a time. And on display, you will see 52 periods of time, that is 52 days or 52 weeks or 52 years at a time. And on the list of tasks that can be displayed, we have set it up to display up to 40 tasks at a time on screen. And this is because then we can actually make it print on one page nicely in a compact way. And so there are these are the limitations that are set up. Now in this video, I will explain how we can extend those limits. And I will um, go through the steps one by one. So you can actually make these changes yourself very easily. And that's one of the things that we try to do in our templates to make them as flexible as possible and allow the users to extend it as needed and make it meet their needs. So now let's go into Excel and then take a look at this template and make those modifications step by step. Okay, so now I have the template open and in this case, I've actually entered some data already so that we can illustrate how to extend. And in the data entry sheet, I have entered 110 tasks. So from this is the hundredth line, and then these are the extra 10 tasks that usually will not be processed by the template in default. And now we're going to see how we can make it happen. And so in the Gantt sheet, if you put in, um, for example, 80, it is supposed to show 40 tasks from 80. And you can see that it stops um, here in row 34 here, which means that it is only showing the up to task number 100. And we want all these tasks also to show up in the Gantt chart with all the necessary metrics. And let's see how to do it. Now I'm going to go and unhide the sheet first. Go to the calc. This is the only hidden sheet in this template. And now once you unhide it, you will see this table. And this is the calculation table that powers all the Gantt chart calculations here. So what I'm going to do is to press control end. It'll take me to the last selected or last active cell, which is here in column AQ row 102. And that is this cell. And this is the end of this table. And you can see here, that there is a small arrow and then as I go close, it allows me to expand it. So what we're going to do now, next step is click and drag this for another 10 rows. So all the way to row 112. And now we have expanded the calculations. Now I'm going to go back to the Gantt sheet and now you will see that we have the necessary information for up to 110 tasks and keep this in mind that as if you need more than 110 you can still extend it more and then you will see all these also appear correctly so depending on how many tasks you need you can just extend this table longer and longer and it should work but one thing to keep in mind is i would recommend you to only extend to as many tasks you need because the, the more these calculations are done, Excel will take longer to process and it may become slower. So if you need 120 tasks, just create it for 120. Don't use like 300 on the table because then it is gonna get slower and slower. It'll still work, but it might take a little longer to process. Okay, so now this is how easy it is to extend to 100, more than 100 tasks for processing. Now I'm going to click right click again and hide the sheet because we don't want that sheet to be always open for sometimes you may edit those uh, inadvertently and that will break all the formulas. So please don't 
um, please be very careful about the hidden calc sheet and always keep it um, hidden after you've made the extension. Okay, now let's move on to the next extension, which is how do we extend how many columns we show here? And so by default, I have set it up such a way that the columns are hidden. So what we're going to first do is to show all columns. So we're going to press Control A, which would select all the columns available. So let's make sure that it's already selecting everything. You can see that. And now I'm going to right click and we should be choosing unhide. However, we don't have the unhide option. So in this case, that means that the, the sheet is protected. So we are going to go to the review tab first, unprotect, enter the password in Zara, all lowercase. And then now come back here, right click. Now you will see the options to unhide. So we're going to click on unhide. This now means that you can actually view all the columns in this sheet. The reason why we did that was in order for us to include more columns, we need to make sure that they are first visible. So that's what we have done. Now, next step, right click, copy. So now we are going to select columns from BM, which is the next one. And then we're going to keep selecting the columns all the way to uh, DD. And you can see that you can see a little, you know, um, text that shows how many columns you have selected as I keep selecting. Look at the right um, border there and it shows 15 C that means we have selected 15 columns. In order to select if you want to do 52 more columns, I'm going to select 52 more columns here. And there you go. It's actually D L. So I've selected 52 columns. And now I'm going to right click, insert copied cells. So now you will see that from BL, which is where you know we copied, we have added 52 more columns and all the you know formulas and everything got up, uh, added correctly. So here we have December. So we're looking at a weekly view. So you can see December 2nd, 9, 16, 30, and then we have Jan 6, 13 for the next year, 2018. So again, it seems to be working fine. And now that's all you do to extend the number of columns beyond the 52 that you currently have, that in you have by default. Now the last part of the extension, the third part of the extension is to extend the number of tasks. And here you can see that the colors are also, you know, correctly being um, transferred over to the new columns that we have created. So everything looks good. And if you want to see this on a daily view, maybe we will try that. Let's do daily. And so now we will see if it actually ends up being. So in this case, we are looking at really some tasks later in the day. So later in the schedule. So now if you see this, now you can see that the colors are also appearing in the newly created columns just like the same way as it did before. Okay, now let's see how we can extend the number of um, tasks that are displayed. So now by default, we can see there are 40 tasks that are displayed. And now what we're going to do is to right click here on the row 54, the row label there, and then we're going to choose copy. And then now select 55 all the way to 94. I'm selecting 40 more columns, 40 more rows. And if you need different number, you can choose differently. Um, so I've chosen now nine, up to 94. I'm going to right click, insert copied cells. And now this is going to automatically extend all the formulas. And the reason why I'm choosing 40 tasks and 52 extra columns is because that's what we had originally fit for one page. And now if I double it, now I can try to make them print in two pages. If you have other other extension limits, then what happens is it may not nicely print in two full pages, it may be a page and a half. So it's up to you, you know, but the print settings, it makes it easier if um, I'm just doubling it. So that's the reason why I'm choosing for this demonstration, 40 extra tasks and 52 extra columns. However, 
you can definitely try other numbers as you need. The method is method used will be exactly the same. Okay, so now we have extended. We can see that the formulas are working and in order for you to confirm that the new tasks are also showing up, you can see that the colors, the bar, the Gantt chart appears even in the new row that we have created. And finally, we can also check, you know, by typing in um, a number, let's say, um, let's try maybe 34 or something. And then we can see that it extends to all the way to 110. This is the last task, task 1410. And we can check that here. The last task we have here is task 1410. So everything looks good. The last thing we are going to do in this video is to see how it appears in print. Because this is great if you're just going to view on screen and not print. But we, if we go and hit file print, then what's going to be happen is it's going to look like this, which is very hard to read because by default it was set up to print on one page. So now we're going to make some changes so that it actually is pr uh, printing nicely. And so we first go to the page layout, hit print titles. And then what we're going to do now is to, because we will be printing in two pages, we want the top rows here to continue to be printing on both sheets. So we're going to select all the way through to 14. So we want these rows to appear on both pages when we print. Columns to repeat, we want the task name and the next column percentage work days complete to appear on both pages. So we do this and then we actually in the same um, screen, you will be able to select page. Here, what we're going to do is adjust to 60%. And now we're gonna hit okay. Okay, so now let's go back to print. You can also press control P. And now you can see that it's much more visible, easily readable. And um, once you go to the second page, this is how it's gonna appear. Third page, fourth page. Um, again, you can play with the print settings according to the page your page size you're printing on and all that. But basically this would get you to print on, uh, when I said two pages, but now it actually appears on four. The reason is um, we have the we have expanded, we have doubled the column width as well as the row height for um, twice. And so that's why it ends up as four pages. So I'm sorry for mentioning that it was two pages initially. It'll be four pages that the Gantt chart will now print on. And this is kind of what I wanted to cover in this video. Basically, we talked about how we can extend the number of tasks being processed. We saw how we can increase the number of columns or the time periods that we can print. We can also we can also extend the number of tasks that are displayed here. And finally, we saw how we can update the print settings so that it can print nicely in a um, easily readable format. If there are any questions about this um, template or the topics that we covered in this video, please uh, let them let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to respond. And please subscribe to the channel to receive future videos uh, by notifications. Thank you very much for watching this video.